Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger with me, Get Daved. I believe. Actually, I don't really know what's in here. We're in the process of trying to get our equipment back. It was all taken along with our money and items. Luca's equipment. Sweet. So, equipment for everyone. A good start. If you find your items, of course, you can equip everybody with, uh, you know, you know, your worse equipment that's from that, uh, group. But if you start at the bottom and work your way up, you will probably get your equipment back. So, like, and, you know, quickly, so that's alright. So we still need items for everybody. Fire tackle. Now there's a tech. Right, we're in the upper compartment. Hey guys. Hey you? Hey you! There we go. But it's a question. Hey you! Is that enough? Frick, these guys are weak. That's some weak sauce. Another thing worth noting is that the only treasure chests in this entire area contain your equipment, your money, and your leftover items. So once we've gotten all five, we're good to go. Uh, you don't have to get them all to keep going. You can, uh, oh thank goodness, we'll finally learn to move that heals everybody. Got items back. Now we just need our money. We've, uh, oh no, no we found our money, so we're set. We've also been getting small amounts of money from everything else. This is where you go if you want to advance uh, to the end of the, that this area. We're gonna keep exploring because I want to find out uh, find out everything there is to know. I want to drink life to the leaves. Really enjoy this game, right? Right. Almost. I guess eight tech points for the bites, that's not so bad. Alright, worth noting. No matter how you touch those guys, if you're on a conveyor belt, they'll attack you. So I guess that means they'd walk past me if I was stationary on the conveyor belt. It might be lose-lose on those conveyor belts. They're also moving so fast that you uh, are permanently stuck up if you uh, ride them. The only way to go back is to crawl back up into the air ducts. All right. That looks like a nothing area, and yeah, that's it. So let's take care of these guys, and then we'll uh, head back. Incidentally, this area to my uh, bottom left right now, that's where the uh, first person's undefended equipment is, so, and it can only be accessed through the air duct, so go for it. We've got all our equipment now, so I'm going to see if that uh, tab has spawned. Yep. Found one magic tab. Huzzah! I guess that was a bit of a deceased crab homage. And Tobias Funke, if you watch uh, Arrested Development. Which you should. A good show that was cancelled. Alright, is this where I want to go? Close enough. Let's give it a save. The new King Dalton. Well, we'll, we'll see about that. Sinister statement. All right. If you don't have all of your equipment back at this point, it asks you if you're sure that you really want to do that. Uh, time to equip Ayla with a hit ring. I'm going to see if we can maybe 
kill some of these enemies. They're just like the rubbles from before, except they're dangerous, uh, and you have less time to take them out. But uh, 100 tech points if you successfully kill one, so let's give it a shot, shall we? I'm probably only going to try on one here. They take, I think, about three hits. They're, they're just not as good a source of uh, equipment as the rubbles were, but... Or, of tech points, sorry. Pretty good success so far, though. That laser beam is shadow-based, so it's healing Ella. We were actually doing quite well before this. He's turned red, he's about to self-destruct. We've probably gotten maybe one more turn. Wow! 100 tech points. 1,500 experience points, too, but I don't know. That's just not the same. It's not as scarce. Well, let's try one more until one of these things blows itself up. I like tech points. Why don't you like tech points? Yeah, this one doesn't look like it's going in. Well, you never know. Two. One more hit from anyone. Wow. You can't change your party in this zone. That's an important thing to state. Mega Bomb. That's a great tech for Luca. Uh, it combines with Frog to uh, give them their Falcon like blow. I think it's called Lion Bomb or something. I rarely have this good luck with these enemies, so I'm just going to milk it for all it's worth. If you're not careful, you'll be fighting them two at a time, which is, uh, I mean, you're lucky to kill one, so two at a time. That's just crazy! Holy cow. And yet I failed to kill my first rubble. What's with that? What up with that? Sorry if this isn't the most entertaining. I'll try to add some tension by uh, involving you. Why don't you all add some Metal Gear Solid-like music, full of uh, strings building tension and such? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I'm not kidding, do it. Of course it doesn't sound good when I do it. Okay, there's one hit. I don't think we're gonna get this one. Two hits. Critical hit from Ayla. Oh, this is gonna... Dang it! <laughs> yep, there he went. But we had a pretty good run. We took out three of them. That's 300 tech points I wasn't expecting to get. We'll leave the others. Um, power ring back on Ayla. And let's heal everybody up to make sure everything's fine and dandy. If it's only one of those two things, well, I'm just not going to be satisfied with that. Luca's working on her final tech. That's pretty exciting. Flare is very powerful. Fire magic hits everybody. And to finish off this area, you have to almost get blown off the end of the wingtip. Massive magic energy reaction. It's the Golem boss! This is possibly the greatest boss fight in the entire game. Uh, let's try some of our new moves. Let's try Boogie. Eh? Are you boogieing? It's a Mega Bomb from Luca. Alright, so he starts counting down. This is Fire World, not to be mistaken with uh, the Double Tech Chrono and Luca have. This one's a lot stronger. It costs a lot more MP, but still great. I think we're gonna have to hammer on the Robo Tackles from Robo. The Golem Boss, you're not actually in a hurry to do damage to, so I'm probably gonna hold back after this. You do want to kill it, but. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the Golem boss doesn't do anything. Like, he's been counting down. But, uh, well, you'll see. Um. Come on, Golem boss, you sure got hyped a lot. Count 
counts down again. It counts very quickly, I might add. Usually you can beat this boss with just raw attacking, and we've got pretty good offense from this crew, but, uh, you know, I don't have Chrono on, so, for obvious reasons. <clears throat> but, uh, I have a little bit less faith in the party's net offensive ability without him, because he's so fast and gets so many criticals. The Golem boss is afraid of heights. Yeah. So, the only thing you need to do is kill it before time runs out. Speaking of time running out, time's running out on this Let's Play video. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>